Springtime is one of my favourite times anywhere in the world, especially here in Schomburg. I'm standing in a field surrounded by beautiful pines, willows and cherry trees that are in full bloom and in a couple of months they'll be bearing tons of fruit, a lot of which will go bad. Now a lot of you, if you're anything like me, throw away a lot of fruit every year. But making jam is one of the easiest things you can do, and it's a lot of fun. It only takes an hour at most, and it's a great way to put that fruit to use. Otherwise it just ends up in the compost pot. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you how to make strawberry jam. We've already found some great strawberries this season, and we're going to put them to good use. the other day, the local RGA, but they've gone a little bit overripe. So what we're going to do, uh, the, the first step in making them into jam, is to rinse them off. So we're going to go over to the sink. So just give them a good rinse under cold water, you know. get all the bugs out. Oh, shit! So now, taking a sharp knife, you're just going to cut the tops off the strawberries. Uh, you can cut them into half or into thirds, and then uh, put them in a saucepan. So, I've finished chopping up the strawberries. As you can see, the roller diced up nicely in that uh, soft pan and uh, we still have the strawberry tops which you should definitely put in your compost pile if you don't have a compost pile and you don't live in a city you live in a place where you can have a garden or um, you know, even if you just have a lawn you should definitely think about starting a compost pile it's a uh, it's great for your yard, and uh, it's good for the environment, you know. Or uh, you could use it as an ashtray, you know. You know, maybe uh, pour some ale in, you know. Eh? Wishy washy, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something to think about. Now we're going to add some lemon, uh, maybe not a whole lemon, uh, depends on how many strawberries you have, but definitely you want to add a good amount. Uh, it'll bring out the nice uh, sweet tart flavour of the strawberries. So just take a lemon, you just squeeze it in there, get all the juice out, uh, watch out for the seeds. So now we're just going to add some sugar. Again, not, not too much sugar either. You just want to do it to where it just sort of coats them. You can always add more sugar later. Uh, so now we're just going to grab the spoon. I'm still limping. Two more weeks of these crutches and I'll be able to walk normally. So 
So now I'm just going to let this mixture sit covered for about 15 minutes over medium heat. This is going to make the fruit break down properly. Uh, and you're going to want to wash this uh, very closely for about 15 minutes. You want to make sure that your fruit doesn't uh, bubble over because it will lose some of its juices and uh, that's not good for your jam. Juicy jam. So it's been about 15 minutes and uh, you're going to have a nice liquidy mixture with some chunks of strawberries. Uh, you can mix this up more if you want. I like mine sort of chunky so I'm going to leave it. And uh, this has to sit uh, for a good hour or more. Uh, you can actually leave this overnight in the fridge uh, if you like. I'm just going to let this sit for an hour. Uh, so while this is cooling down, let's just uh, go outside and take a look at this properly. Originally founded as Brownsville in the early to mid 19th century, Schaumburg is an unincorporated village in the King region of southern Ontario in Canada. Situated just south of Holland Landing and just north of the famed Elk Ridges Moraine. Originally a rural farming community, the region remained predominantly home to farmers and their families. Each year since 1851, the Schomburg Fair, an agricultural exposition and fun, family-friendly festivity has been held on the last weekend of May. My particular place of residence while staying in the region is the Ferret Hole Farm, a beautiful and spacious estate. Now let's head inside and continue to work on our jam. 